everybody, and welcome back to The Secret Place. That is a reference to Psalm 91. I'm so glad you're back, or, or if you're here for the first time, glad you showed up. Today, I am talking about um, a passage from a book that I love. You, I've shared here before by John O'Donohue. Um, it's called Walking in Wonder, Eternal Wisdom for a Modern World. Um, I want to talk a bit today about how uh, what... John O'Donohue uh, says here has to do with interpersonal communication. All right, so here's the passage. He says, one of the victims of media culture is the depth and the interiority of the self. People are treated like images, like instances of general principles, but are rarely individuals are, but rarely are individuals taken and illumined for their own unique depth. Did you get that? It's one of, the, one of the victims of media culture is the, is the depth and interiority of the self. People are treated like images, like instances uh, of general principles. Uh, I mean, the structure of our current social media does this to us. We thought so in the TV age when so much was uh, reducing the human being to the passive couch potato, you know, watching a talking head or a story on the small screen in one's living room. We thought that because there was so much illusion in that. But today, um, the structure of our, our media, our major media, um, isolates us in such a way that really fosters such a false sense of self, but also feeds into that hyper-individuality that is going on today, uh, there's so much less of a sense of we and more of a sense of, of me. And I think that, you know, uh, our media culture is not the only thing to blame, but it is very hard when day after day, hour after hour, uh, we are using our media in such a way that it underscores and emphasizes, um, one, the 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 me myself and I over the we and um also emphasizes this hyper individuality like it, it's all about what I can do not about what we can accomplish together so when you have that kind of a dynamic in a culture and people just um the majority of the people just kind of like functioning in it without thinking about it it's very very easy to uh Kind of view others the way that um, our media view us and not look at others as actual people, subjects who have concerns and feelings and need compassion um, or are worthy to share in something that we do. Uh, we just get further and further, many of us get further and further into our own isolation, into our own little um, cells, if you will. Um, of uh, uh, self self management and um, just isolation. I said it before: not not needing anyone else, utter utter independence from others. Um, some sometimes I've seen you know people kind of crumble under the fact that they can't do it all, that they need others, and they don't know how to reach out to others. They don't know how to form alliances that help build community and help build a way to do things and accomplish things that need to get done. Um, so I see that a lot. There's like, especially among the young, this kind of crushing um, experience of uh, a result of isolation and our, and our mass mediated, social mediated culture. But I also see the other side of that too, which I mentioned before, the hyper individualized um, attitude or mindset that says, I can do it all. I must do it all. Look at everyone else. Everyone else is doing it all. Everyone else is, um, you know, um, acting in their own, in their own film, filming it, editing it, um, putting it up on YouTube, doing their own marketing, running their own business, all these fallacies. There are people doing that. I'm aware there are people doing that, but it leads us to believe that that really that's the way to do things that we need to um, just hunker down and do things all are on our own. And, and it's all about what I can accomplish and what I need to do. And that makes a person extremely busy. Um, maybe not, maybe not as frustrated as the other side that I talked about that, but that can make a person extremely busy, extremely um, 
uh, at such a fast pace that there's there's not really a lot of room for the interpersonal give and take that um, is created by true communication um, and the relationship that can ensue. So let's let's make sure as we here I am talking to myself too, by the way, um, that we don't let the um, the culture, the media culture in this case, um, set the pace for how we think uh, we we need to be in the world or how we behave in the world how we function with others. No, no, like what does the scripture say? And what is your heart saying? Drill down there before it gets completely uh, like glazed over with like just a, a, a media glaze that, that uh, tells a lie. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Obviously it's part of what I teach and it's part of what um, I write about and I always read about it. Mm, but I guess I like to talk about it once in a while too on the secret place because interpersonal relationships and, and, and functioning in those and healthy flourishing ones doesn't just come out of nowhere or out of a desire to be in a, a like a life-giving long-lasting relationship. It doesn't come because we blink and say, Oh, I want that. I want that. We, we need to reach out reach into other people's lives. We need to respond when they reach into ours um, and on and on and on. And this is not just something that happens once, um, but something that is, is needs to be happening all the time. Um, so that's it. That's it today. Just a little, a little bit from John O'Donohue. I didn't read any of his poetry or his really esoteric stuff, but I love it. Um, I've read from his book, Beauty, before, and I love that. Maybe I'll do that again soon. Don't forget, this is called Walking in Wonder. And I hope you have a wonderful day. See you again in The Secret Place. This is Stephanie. Bye now. Bye.